Mm-hmm. Yo, what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? You know who this is. The Chosen One, Gabriel Skywalker and Shorter Skywalker here from the DFS Club. We're coming to you guys with another NBA main slate playoff edition video, guys. So welcome. Um, cash easily today. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Wait, we got to do it with Schroeder. So hit that, <laughs> hit that comment button. Smash that like button. Leave us a comment. Or what, how does it go? I don't know, guys. It's Sunday. I'm drained. MLB, UFC, NBA. It's been crazy fun. It's just weekends are a marathon, guys. Are you ready to try again? All right. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button. Leave us a comment down below. Because Schroeder and I love hearing from you guys. So in the emails, guys, show me your takedowns. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm glad to see that my videos are helping. Um, and we all know who the real star of the show is. It's this guy right here, Schroeder. So he promises to be in every video now from here on in because he's been slacking a little bit lately. So but we'll let him off the hook. But uh, you ready to go, Schroeder? All right. So uh, and welcome back to everybody that has come back. Um, hopefully you guys had a great weekend. And let's kick off this week right. I mean, MLB has been absolutely wow. The last four four days, guys, we want some big money in the club. Big money in the club. So we'll get into how you can join. You guys have any questions about memberships? Any questions? Email me, skywalkerdfs at gmail.com. Maybe I'll do a maybe I'll do a uh, like a MLB like NBA like special. Maybe maybe we'll do a discount because, you know, we're already the cheapest. Let me get comfortable here. We're already the cheapest in the industry, but it's we're just trying to build a community out here, guys. We're just out here getting getting members, building communities. So that's what it's all about because ain't no one getting rich off of this. First off, guys, before we get into it, the sponsor of this video and every video, guys, what you're looking at here is Draft Dashboard, the number one optimizer on the planet. $1 for 30 days. Click on the link in the description below. You yourself can have Draft Dashboard, guys, where you get access to all my saved lineups, all my player pools, the lineup optimizer, the player trends, who's trending up, who's getting in the old prison pocket, guys, the sleepers and studs, the position optimizer, and the NBA cheat sheet, because if you can't win cheat, it's got the top plays of the slate, the studs, the mid-range, the value. This is Draft Dashboard. All right, so first off, the injury, so... Unfortunately, James Harden tweaked his uh, hammy again, so he will be out. Man, I hope a speedy recovery for him. I'm a big fan. Um, it's just not the same without uh, James Harden out there for Brooklyn. But for DFS purposes, y'all already know that opens up, what do we call it, guys? Opportunity and value. So let's get into it. We'll go position by position. Two-game slate um, starts at... 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific, so set your clocks accordingly, and uh, let's go, guys. DFS club members, we'll do the members-only podcast probably a half hour before a lock since it's only two games late, so dial in, guys. So no James Harden. We got Kyrie Irving at 9.2K. So this is a two-game slate, but there's a lot of good pay-up options, so you're going to have to kind of like prioritize which way you're going to go. I'll probably do my one or two lineups like I've been doing. Um, build your core and then, and then you know, get a little different around that point. So Kyrie at 9-2. He's a fine pay-up option. No James Harden. He'll have the ball a lot more in his hands. Um, I cannot believe he played 44 minutes last game. That's ridiculous. He sat probably <laughs> – he sat for a couple minutes and then just played the whole damn thing. So I do like that, guys. I don't see why he doesn't do it again against Milwaukee, his lifetime – that last game, we got a 48. Before that, 61 and a 41. So, I don't mind Kyrie at 9-2. He's $500 more on FanDuel. Next up, we look for some mid-tier. Drew Holiday's fine. Don't mind it. Um, he's one of the safer plays on the slate. Like, he's never really going to get you in the old prison pocket. You know, not in the, the old brown starfish. 37, 39, 42, 47, 43. Last five games, right? Against Brooklyn, 37, 55, 34, 37, 43. So just Drew's just really safe, guys. 7, 8, really good cash play. Chris Paul, man, is only 6, 5. That's just tempting. 
It's very tempting. I know he's hurt. Y'all know he's hurt. He still played 28 minutes last game. 28 fantasy points. It's a new series. It's a new day. Don't don't you dare be sour. Um, I might want to take advantage of this. I would imagine his ownership would be low. Um, I don't mind stacking him and Booker T, man. I really don't. Um, 57, 41, 38, 36, 36. His last five against Denver. So that's just really cheap, guys. I might do a Chris Paul Booker T stack. That's what it might be looking like. But we'll get in the line of construction in a bit. Uh, next up, Mike James. Sound like Rick James. I'm Mike James, bitch. Chappelle Show, you guys remember that? 3-3. Three, three. Um, he played 30 minutes last game. I would imagine he would do the same, but you never know with bench players, right? You never know who's going to play, who's not going to play. Um, but I don't mind taking a shot here. If he's going to get 30 minutes again, he can get easily 40 fantasy points in 30 minutes. Points per minute monster, Mike James, bitch. 3.3K. He's $1,500 more on FanDuel. You can get him in there. And how about Monty, guys? Monty Morris. Been coming off the bench, man, and been doing some damage. 48, 43, 25 in his last three. He's 5'4", $1,300 more on FanDuel. Definitely my favorite Denver guard out of Denver. Not my favorite guard on the slate, but just my favorite Denver guard. Um, campaign, Austin Rivers. Don't I'm not going to go there. Austin Rivers, how do you play 40 minutes, bro, and get eight fantasy points? How does that? How is that even possible? Like, you got to be standing out there in the ball. It's got to come off the rim and land in your hands, right? Or you can pass the ball to someone, they shoot, they make a shot, and you get an assist. How is that even possible, dude? So, good luck with that, especially against that Phoenix defense. I'm not a fan. Composo, 5'8". I'd rather just play Monty, you guys, and get the savings. Um, so, that's it for sh point guard. Let's go to shooting guard. So... Devin Booker T at 8.5K, man. This is my man right here. Finally, it's great to see him like have, have a great game at a 71. Before that, 50, 33. You know, he's been mediocre, 30 fantasy points a game. Last two, he's been kicking it up. I would imagine he's going to kick it up the rest of the way, guys. The closer and closer they get to the finals. Booker T, man, he'll be out there. He played 45 minutes last game. 71 fantasy points. Schroeder's looking at it. He's eyeballing Booker T. He's like, hmm, is that going to be my pick? I don't know. But he's like, God damn it. We just let me go back to bed. The answer is no, Schroeder, because we're putting on a show and we're giving people great picks. And people tune in for you. They don't turn in for me, buddy. So you want them Sam treats? We got to earn it. <laughs> yes, guys. Schroeder will be in every single video. I promise. I'm getting too many complaints that Schroeder's not in it. And I don't blame you. But, yeah, De uh, Devin Booker, get him in there, guys. 8-5, you want to do him. Chris Paul, I don't mind it. Um, let's see. Joe Harris, I'm not paying 6 k for. Way too overpriced. Um, and the rest is just pretty much garbage. Yeah. So, shooting guard is going to be fun tomorrow, guys. Especially on FanDuel. You got to play fucking two of them. So, let's go to small forward. So, we got Kevin Durant at 10-3. He's fine. I'd rather probably just get the Kyrie. You can get to try and get to Giannis. I mean, it depends on how you want to play this slate, guys. Brooklyn, Milwaukee, or the or uh, I would look at each game and see what the projected total is going to be, and probably just stack that game. Um, but KD's another safe play. 10-3, 50, 60 point upside against Milwaukee. This is what you want to really look at here. So 53, game one. 59, 62, 54, no Harden. He benefits, Kyrie. I mean, everybody on this team benefits uh, fantasy points-wise. So don't mind that. Middleton, I'd rather just get to Drew. Let's face it. And then Michael Porter Jr. has been coming on lately. He's 7-1. Finally, good to see. Even though he played 33 minutes last game, he got 43 fantasy points. Before that, 51. And then before that, we don't even want to go there. Just don't even go there with him. He's a good GP. He is the definition of a GPP play because you don't know what he's going to do. His ownership will probably be pretty low at that price. So you want to take some shots. MPJ, you can get him in there at 7-1. You got Aaron Gordon, 5-5. Five, five. They don't raise his price, so I'm going to keep playing this dude. 33, 38 minutes in his last two. 36, 32 fantasy points. So don't mind me some Aaron Gordon. And how about my man Bridges, man? Finally, 
they brought his price down under 5k he's 4.8 i do like that guys 30 he plays 30 but sometimes 40 minutes a game depending on how he's playing he's got a 40 point upside so i do like that 26 37 22 in his last three mccall bridges guys i don't mind it get him in there and then bruce brown man my man He's won me so much money this year, 3.8K, $2,100 more on FanDuel. So definitely a DraftKings play here. 22, 28, 26 fantasy points. And not bad for a 3K player, guys. He'll play 20-plus minutes. So get him in there. Uh, Cam Johnson at 3-4, GBP only, guys. He'll come off the bench. He'll play 20 to 13 minutes, depending on how what the coach wants to do. So... I'd probably just try and get the Bruce Brown for $400 more, guys. Uh, Jay Crowder's 5K. It's fine. It's just it's Jay Crowder, man. I love this guy, uh, the way he plays. Um, very aggressive, but just so inconsistent. 37, 14, 39, 24, 23. Like, he can, his floor is a 14. So, expect that. But he's 5K. So, one of those players that will be low-owned. Probably someone you want to target more in, like, a showdown slate. Um, let's see. And you guys know I love my showdown slates. If you missed that last video, you guys saw I took down with like 400 people, but still, it was a 30,000 entry contest. I played one lineup. One. And I gave it to the club, obviously. So everybody feasted. P.J. Tucker at 3-2. So P.J. Tucker started last game, played 27 minutes, 18 fantasy points. It's P.J. Tucker. We all remember P.J. Tucker from Houston, right? They'll play the minutes, but just very uh, Snellish. You know what I mean? Tony Snell. Like, not very high output. But if he gets to start again at 3-2, bare men, guys. I don't mind it at all. So, before we get into power forward, guys, don't you dare be sour. You guys want the lineups, guys. You want the members-only podcast. You want to win some of this NBA, especially this MLB money right now. We're not just cashing, guys. We're cashing big. The last four four days in a row now. Not just cashing, but cashing bigly, guys. DFSclub.com. DFSclub.com, guys. You want the lineups? We got you. Members only podcast? We got you, guys. Um, every single sport. NBA, NFL, MLB, PGA, NHL, tennis, NASCAR, soccer, esports, MMA, WNBA, college sports, EuroLeague basketball. Click join now. Click on my logo, Skywalker DFS, and then pick your plans, guys. We are the cheapest in the industry, $14.99 a month. Yes, that's for everything, all access, every single sport. Look at our silver and year plans, guys. Everybody else charges that for a month. We got you for a full year. We got three-day passes if you just want to get your feet wet. Come hang out with Space, myself, and 300-plus of your closest family members because that's how we roll in here, man. We have a, a nice, tight-knit community, no drama. Um, we're all just trying to help each other out, get that bread. We all have that one common goal in mind. We all might not like the same teams, but when it comes to getting that bread, we are the DFS Club, guys. Come join us. We'd love to have you, dfsclub.com. So stay tuned because, like I said, maybe we'll do some deals this week. I don't know. If I go live or whatever, I'll just do it on the fly. It don't matter. Because I don't give a. <laughs> all right, guys. So let's go back to the slate. Um, all right. So let's go to power forward and feel the power. So we got Giannis Antetokounmpo at 11K. Always a great pay up option, right? Against Brooklyn. It's a dream matchup if you think about it. 58, 60, 75, 66, and that 29. I don't know what happened there. Maybe he got hurt, but very safe pay up option. It's just. It eats up a lot of your salary. So you have to play a couple 3K players, but you can do it on the slate. It's fine. Um, let's see. Blake Griffin. So is this a fluke or was it not? I might want to wait and see one more. 4.1K, you're not really risking much. So if you want to roster him, I don't mind it. But let's be real here. It's Blake Griffin, 2021. The same Blake Griffin, 2017, 2016. So... We get any sniff of a hint that he's going to play 35 minutes again? Absolutely, I get him in there. GPP play only because again, we don't. It's the we don't know factor, right? Like Embiid today, right? I mean, if you didn't play him, don't beat yourself up over it. I mean, 
you didn't know. It was a high risk play. It really was because he could have easily reaggravated that injury, just like James Harden did. Um, and then you're, you know, just like that, your line's dead. Your lineup is dead. So a lot of people didn't want to take that chance today. And if you're one of them, I don't blame you guys. Don't worry about it. So what if he went off? I I faded him and I cashed very easily. So don't beat yourself up over that. Um, Blake Griffin though is only four one, so you're really not taking that much of a risk if he you know plays his 18 minutes, which he was doing before that. Expect you know like 11 or seven fantasy points. So I don't mind that. Blake Griffin will be the topic of discussion. I'm I'm sure till tomorrow, guys. Um, let's see, Jermichael Green. Don't mind that at three six. Um, 23, 19, 23 fantasy points in his last three. He comes off the bench. Very reliable. Even against Phoenix, I don't mind it. 26, 12, 18 in his last three against Phoenix. Um, don't mind Jermichael Green. I actually do kind of like him, especially the showdown slates at 3-6. He's 600 more on Vandal. And that's going to do it for power forward. So let's go to center. All right, so... Jokic, 10-8, it's fine. Um, not my favorite pay-up option. $200 more, I can have Giannis. I mean, could Jokic outscore Giannis? Absolutely, he could. He got a 77 two games ago. I mean, either play is fine. History versus Phoenix, 60, 260 burgers, 50, 48, 58. So you got to make some decisions, guys. You really do. But Jokic is in play at 10-8. It's an ownership thing for me. If he's the lowest owned stud... That's the one I'm going for. Same upside as everybody else. Brooke Lopez is in play at 4-9. Um, starts, he'll play 27 to 30 minutes in a close game. If his threes are dropping, guys, he can get you 40. He did it two games ago. So he's got a pretty safe floor, too. So I don't mind Brooke Lopez, especially under 5K. Um, DeAndre Ayton. So 7-3. Here's where I think you can pick him up at very low ownership. 13 and 20 in his last two. On paper, it's a bad matchup for him. Denver's ranked first in the league against centers. But there is some history to look at here. 39, 48, 41, and a 62 against Denver in his last four. So he's played Denver. He's played. He's went up against Jokic four other times here that we can see. And has gotten 40. The lowest he got was a 39. So at 7-3... You want to, especially on FanDuel, guys, where center is, like, really important. I love DeAndre Ayton today at 7.3. My sneaky, sneaky play, guys. Uh, Claxton, I guess. I mean, fuck, he'll be out there, but, I mean, he was better in the regular season. I mean, give the kid a break. He doesn't have, like, postseason experience yet. The butterflies probably getting to him a little bit, but, I mean, if you're feeling lucky, and then DeAndre Jordan, they said he was going to play this series, but I'll believe it when I see it. And that's it for the picks. So let's go to the lineup optimizer and see what we can't do for a lineup build here. So like I was saying before, if I wanted to do a Chris Paul, Devin Booker stack, let's see how let's see how that would look. So we're going to center. Normally I always start at center, but let's say we're gonna we're gonna take a shot here on, on old Blake Griffin here. Um small forward. Small forward stack, guys. Small forward will not be a problem. I know that's weird saying that, but it really is. So Bruce Brown, PJ Tucker, Bridges. Give me, give me Bruce Brown. We got tons of salary now to play with, guys. Tons. We're good. Aaron Gordon, Jay Crowder. We can play PJ Tucker here if we want. All right, so we got Blake. Monty's fine. Jermichael Green, and there's Giannis in this lineup. So you're actually getting, look at this, you're getting Kyrie, Chris Paul, Monty, Devin Booker. Look at this. So this is what I'm talking about. So you can get these studs in if you throw a couple of scrubs in there. So we got Chris Paul, Kyrie, Bruce Brown, P.J. Tucker, Blake Griffin, Devin Booker, Jermichael Green, Giannis, Anti Pupu. You don't want to go Giannis? You can go Jokic. You can play anybody you want. So let's say you want to play. No, nah, I'm not feeling Giannis. I don't think he's going to do it. I'd rather go Jokic. There you go. You still got more money left on the table. Four, nine, seven. You got 300 left on the table. Not much of a difference. So, But me personally, give me Giannis just for the safety net. 
Or you can go even more balanced. You can go Drew. Like we all know Drew's a very safe play. You can upgrade here. You can get to Aaron Gordon, Jay Crowder, Bridges. I mean, it goes on and on and on. Um, you can do that. So you got Aaron Gordon in here. Um, you can pay up at small forward. You can get to Jay Crowder instead of Bruce Brown. It just depends on what you want to do with that last utility spot. Do you want to get that stud in there? Or do you want to get so like a Drew Holiday, like a safe play to go with Booker T, Chris Paul, and Kyrie? Right? Or you can build up at the bigs. You can, you know, you can go with your Kevin Durant or, you know, you know where I'm going here. Jokic. So let's go to FanDuel. Just so you get somewhat of a first look idea. Um, so I'm not talking both sides of my ass here. So DeAndre Ayton, if you don't want to pay up for Jokic on the slate, if you do, obviously you're going to put him there. If not, you can put Ayton there. That's that's fine. Mike James in play. And then point guards. I mean, you can do, like I said, FanDuel. You can, you can play a lot of studs here. You got Booker T in here. Um, and then Bruce Brown or Austin Rivers. I mean, Bruce Brown's 5'9". I don't know if I want to pay that for fucking Bruce Brown, but you kind of have to, right? Unless you want to go Austin Rivers at 4'9", which you could. Um, Bridges, Cam Johnson, you can pay up here. But if I recall, yeah, so you can go Michael Porter or KD. You can go KD here. But let's say you want to go Giannis. Now we're way over, right? Now we're way over. So... This is trying to cram um, AD, Giannis, Booker, and Chris Paul in the same line. Really, really can't do it, can you? So, if you want to get to Giannis, though, you can go back up to, I don't know, small forward. You know, you can get in Bridges. We can go Bridges here. Really don't want to play Cam Johnson, guys. I really don't want to, but small forward is so bad. Like, you you have to pay up. Like, you're forced to. I mean, Chris Middleton, 7'7", seven, seven, that's doable. Him or Michael Porter Jr., give me Chris Middleton, honestly. Or you, if you're feeling lucky, you can go Joe Harris. Um, And then Bridges, 6'1", though, on FanDuel, guys. What a difference. 6'1", on FanDuel. He's 4'9", on fan, on uh, DraftKings. That's insanity. Um, Let's do that. So still, it makes it tough, right? It wouldn't be tough if it wasn't fun. Let's go with... So if you want to pay down a guard, you can on Fandom. Monty 6-7, though. Holy shit. I don't want to pay that for Monty. Sometimes you just kind of put people in, like Compazzo, 5K. Look at the price difference there. Sometimes you just plug these players in and you don't realize what you're paying for them. I'm guilty of that, personally. Um... So, yeah, man, I mean, then you can go Bridges here. And then you got your Giannis lineup. Don't really feel that good about it. I really don't. So, I mean, let's just say we want to put – we want we got to have Kyrie in here, right? You got to get him in there. You're probably going to have to pay down a power forward because you're forced to pay up elsewhere, which is fine. P.J. Tucker, Aaron Gordon, you got 3K left over. Do whatever you want. You, got, you already got Devin Booker in here. Um – you want to pay up to Chris Paul here? You can get to Chris Paul. Now, it just depends. You have one, two scrubs here. That's it. Pretty much only two scrubs here. Joe Harris may be a third scrub, but you're paying 5-5 five, five for him. DraftKings, you're paying 6K. So you want the best bang for your buck, and this video is now 24 minutes long. I do apologize, but I'm really trying to dig in and pick at these, you know, these strategies for you guys so you guys kind of get – a feel of what goes through my brain and my process of doing this. So that's going to do it for the video guys. Again, come check us out guys. DFSclub.com, where you got myself, you got Schroeder, you got 300 plus of your closest family members in there. Um, DFS space. And uh, I got cat hair all over my nose now. So Schroeder and I are going to take everybody out. And don't forget, draft dashboard's only $1 for 30 days. So Schroeder says that's one salmon treat. All right, guys. You ready? All right. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless the pets. Right? The pets?
he says right. All right, guys. Like Schroeder says, let's get the spread. Don't take shit from nobody. And Schroeder and I will see you all the way at the top. All right, guys. Take care.